Hi, this is Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel, where we save you time, money, and help you make your adult, senior, or retiree vacations more memorable and relaxing by sharing our insights, tips, and recommendations and experiences from our extensive lifelong travel adventures. In this travel video, we encountered a situation where we have finished our visit to Disney's Hollywood Studios theme park and want to return to Disney's Riviera Deluxe Resort in Walt Disney World. One of the frequently mentioned advantages of staying at Disney's Riviera Resort is that it has its own Skyliner station for easy and quick access to both Disney's Epcot theme park as well as, with a quick change at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Yet, what if you encounter what I encountered during my visit to Walt Disney World back in January 2024? The Skyliner from Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort to Disney's Riviera Resort is closed for maintenance. Well, we have two choices which do not cost any more money. We can either walk over to the bus stop at Disney's Hollywood Studios and use the Disney bus transportation to Disney's Riviera Resort. Depending on how long you have to wait for the bus, the actual ride will take only about seven to eight minutes. Or, which is the focus of this video, we can take the Skyliner from Disney's Hollywood Studios to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort and then walk over to Disney's Riviera Resort. As you will see, it is not a short walk. It takes between 15 and 20 minutes depending on how fast you walk. I can tell you that if it's raining, or if it's very hot and humid, which can occur in Central Florida during the spring, summer, and fall months, you will likely want to wait for and take the free Disney bus. Yet, let's have you see for yourself what the walk is like from Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort to Disney's Riviera Resort. At the end of this video, you will then know exactly what the walk is like long it takes to decide for yourself if it's right for you, whether depending of course, or if it's better to wait for and take the Disney bus should you also be in this situation. This video will also help you if you are staying at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort and want to check out or have a meal at Disney's Riviera Resort. And yes, we will speed up just a little bit some portions of the walk so you don't have to watch this for the full amount of time it takes me to walk between the two resorts. The actual time for the Skyliner ride from Disney's Hollywood Studios to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort is about seven minutes. The Skyliner station at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort is actually pretty cute with some nice posters on the walls and good signage helping direct you to the connecting Skyliners. So now, let's start our walk together to Disney's Riviera Resort. And yes, at this point we'll speed up the video just a bit so it will look like I'm walking pretty fast, which I'm not. All right, so I was told the walk is 15 minutes. And I've got 10 after 10 in the morning, 15 minutes from the Skyliner here to Riviera. So let's go. And why are we walking? For a reminder, because of this. Notice we're the ones that's moving, not the Skyliner. The Skyliner's closed from this station to Epcot and Riviera until Saturday. And that to me is one of the major drawbacks of staying at the Riviera. It's touted you've got the Skyliner with great access right to the international gateway entrance of Epcot or then connecting to Hollywood Studios. But if it's down, then you gotta take the bus and or walk. But then there's no advantage then to staying at the Riviera from a transportation within Disney World perspective. Again, it's Caribbean Beach, beautiful area, beautiful resort. So I was told to cross the street and then cross the bridge or vice versa. So let's do that. You know, if you're an annual pass holder like Nancy and I, you don't need to spend every minute of every waking hour in the park. You've got time to relax and it's okay.
And there in the distance is Disney's Riviera Resort. That's our door, Darkin. Hey, we'll get back to the video in just a second. We just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this far. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And if you are, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not done so already, please click that subscribe button. Clicking the subscribe button it really helps. Thank you so much. Back to the video.
and there are some guests taking advantage of the fishing catch and release activities for a fee of course. So at this point, the walk did take me about 15 or 16 minutes to this side of Disney's Riviera Resort. To get to where you want to in the resort would take you a few more minutes, whether it's to one of the pools, one of the restaurants, or to your room. If you had found this video useful for you, it would be appreciated if you could please give it a thumbs up and, if you've not done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified when future adult travel videos are released by us, about one or two a week. Here are two more of our Travel for Adults videos you may enjoy, each with their own collection of insights, tips, and recommendations from our own personal lifelong travel experiences to save you money, time, and help you make your adult, senior, or retiree vacations more memorable and relaxing. We'll see you next time.